Let's look at how to clean these render mistakes in post. I like to blend in this this pillar a lot more with the surroundings, so I'm gonna use um, so I'm gonna use some photos for this. I'm gonna use a ground texture and maybe some plants. I import those images into Photoshop, and there I'm gonna use select and select subject. This is a magic tool that selects my subject, even if it's just a bunch of dirt. With that selected, I am gonna go over here and select a mask, fine tune my mask, and make a new layer out of it that is already masked as well. Now. Place it in the scene, make it a bit bigger, then use a brush that has a bit of texture on it, and then paint out the mask so that it is wrapping around this pillar. For good measure, I'm gonna add some greenery as well. Why not? I export these two layers to After Effects as PNG sequences. There I go ahead and track this pillar using Track Motion. You can find this under the animation menu in the top left corner. Find a nice spot to track. I'm using this big spot on the pillar. And when you're done, use Edit Target to apply this to a no object, parent your images to that no object. So it follows the camera movement. On to the next bit. <clears throat> Sometimes simulations or other animations are not perfect. Well, in this case, the chain is sticking through the karaoke machine. I like to fix that. So I'm gonna create a mask for a particular still that I took from the footage. And I'm gonna use Content Aware Fill to fix this. <clears throat> Masking out a section here. I'm gonna go over here to image, content aware, sorry, edit content aware fill, and then fit it in. Uh, you might have to adjust your selection here a bit, and then you're left with a nice result. And then over again to After Effects. With this imported in After Effects, you can go ahead and track the karaoke machine. I'm using position, rotation, and scale, so I have to use two trackers at least. When your footage is tracked, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Edit your target, make a no object, and parent that image that you fixed to the no object. Now that fixed area roughly follows our karaoke machine. Sadly enough, it's not perfect. So what we have to do now, tweak the position so it follows the karaoke machine perfectly. Also use rotation and adjust the mask so that you have a nice and clean image to overlay. Also, Use this mask to mask out some bits like the microphone overlapping the image you have. This can be a bit finicky, but hey, it's just a couple of frames. You can play around with the feather or other mask settings. If you're happy with this result, you can go ahead and create a Lumetri color on top of the image that you fixed. So we can color correct this piece and match it to the existing footage. This means that you will have to keyframe a lot of settings. So temperature, tint, saturation, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. I all keyframed. Then I go over to sections that are clearly not matching, try to match it as best as I can. So the necklace is out of the way. And unfortunately, I have some other mistakes in my footage as well. Uh, for example, the arms are sticking to my cloth simulation. That is an easy fix. I'm gonna use two images that are close together. I'm gonna overlay the other one, choose a blending mode that you like. You can use transparency or just a blending mode like screen or whatever. I'm gonna try and position it as best as I can. Get the sleeve to overlap the arm, at least the piece that is that is um, sticking through, and then bring back the opacity to where it's supposed to be. Now, I'm gonna mask this layer, invert that mask, and then paint the mask with white. And ta-da, there it is, the sweater is coming back and nicely wrapping around the arm. Then again, repeat the steps for all the frames that you will have to do this for. And even for the fingers, I did this because there were some little things I didn't like. And yeah, it can be a bit, finicky, but hey, I like it to be the best I can do. And if, if that means I have to go in and manually tweak those frames, I will happily do that. And yeah, that leaves you with nice clean renders that leave you with this awesome result. I hope you enjoyed these three quick tips. If you do, please like the video. As always, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Ciao.